In this video we will be modifying a report using Customizer. The report we will be modifying is the Calendar Appointments Report. We can access Customizer by going to File, Setup, Customizer. Here we can select the area we wish to customize from this list. In our case it's the very first one on the list, so we'll select that and click on New Customization and give it a name. Once we hit OK, the report will generate in a new tab. On the main section of the screen you will see all the fields that can be customized in this report and on the right side you will see the control section which allows us to modify different attributes of these fields. For this example, we will delete some of the columns and add an additional one. So we will in this case delete the home phone fields, which we can do by first selecting the text field at the top and then secondly selecting the database column. The way to select multiple fields at one time is by clicking on the first field, holding down the control key on the keyboard, and then selecting the other fields. Once we've done that, we can hit the delete key on the keyboard to delete those two fields. And additionally, we will also delete the authorization field. So in the same manner, we select authorization, hold down the control key, and then select the calendar authorization database column, and hit delete. Next thing you may want to do when adding columns is to make room for the additional columns that you will be adding. So in this case, I'm just going to select these four items because I plan on moving the column between age and cell phone. So I'm going to select these four items and I will slide them to the right as far as I can. And I am doing so by pressing the right directional key on the keyboard. And now I will go ahead and add the new columns. So first we want to add the text column for this field and we can double click where we want that field to go and we would be selecting text. We can then enter the text on the, on the control section to the right. In this case we will add the email field. And type in the text and hit enter. Now you may notice that the, uh, the field is too small to fit the, the text. So sometimes you may have to manually expand that field to fit the text. But you can also scroll down and click on resize to fit the text and it will resize that field automatically. The next thing you may want to do is align the field that you've added to the other fields in that row. What you can do is select one field that you will use as a reference point and then hold down the control key on the keyboard and then select the field that you wish to be aligned. You can then click on our alignment properties button up here and in this case we would select align bottom edges to first select it. Now as you can see the fields are horizontally aligned. Next we would want to add the database column to the detail section. So we can double click down here in the detail section and we will click on column. The email column is under the context table, but it is easy enough to expand any one of these tables and look through them if you're not sure where a database column is located. Once you find the column you can double click on it and that will add it to your customization. Similarly, you would want to align this one with other items in that row. And you can also align it to the text, the text field that describes it at the top. The easiest way to do that is click on that field first, since that will be your reference, and 
click on the data field that you added. And you can go back to our alignment section and this, this time choose align left edges to first select it. Once that's done, we can hit save. And being as this is a context field, we may want to make this one just a little bit longer to allow for some of the longer email addresses that you may come across. And we can save these changes. Then you would want to go to the Manager tab where we started out at and click on Effect Customizations. Here you can specify which security groups this customization will be available to. And in addition, you can make it the default for any security group. Or you can make it the default for all security groups by clicking Default All and hitting OK. Now if we go back into My Vision Express, um, we can do one of two things. If the report is already open, you can click on the Layout button and then you will see the option to pick your customized layout and if we double click on it as you can see it shows us our customized layout but also since we have made this report the default layout we could also just open the report all over again by going to file reports calendar and calendar appointments and uh, once we put in a date range here and do a search it will automatically default to our new layout and that is how you can customize a report using Customizer in my